and welcome to the Custom Stadium, the home of Oxford United in this EFL Trophy first game in this tournament in Group A they take on the Cobblers from Northampton go to the teams that are coming out on the pitch and Oxford United will probably I think Northampton will be a bit peeved that they are the second seed in this group because they are a slightly better team than Oxford and uh, but so they've uh, in the league table they are above Northampton so they have got the right to be the top seeds so let's get to the the kickoff crowd here Santi's debating nobody likes to lose the first game and Jamie Mackey gets the game on the way Oxford in their yellow shirts and black shorts well navy and Northampton in their maroon shirts and white shorts and nobody likes to lose the first game in the tournament when there's only three games to play so be very cagey play cagey play by both sides I should imagine in this oh and the ball over Cabin is in they score after three minutes oh what a super ball over and Cabin has put it into the bottom corner of the net Northampton Town keeper no chance whatsoever well that was a brilliant ball over the top raising the roof there see the ball over from the left side of the pitch no takes from the middle <laughs> over the top and there's Cadden on the volley keeper no chance one yell Oxford what a start for this for the Oxford side against Northampton Town in this EFL trophy first game so great start and it's out to Adams a little of the ball early on Adams on that left hand side need to be watching him getting some good balls in there's Newell finding him in space oh just wide oh that should have been a should have been an equaliser not oh, got him oh he's making a run down that last side long can he get one over he can and work in oh just over the bar Oh, Taylor coming in in the six yard box, a super ball down the right hand side again by Long. Full backs on both sides are full effect today, so playing much more than that, there's not been much stoppage. And there is the half time whistle Oxford United 1, Northampton 0. A good half for Oxford, they take the lead very, very early on four minutes, but Northampton need to readdress their play. Welcome back to the Kassam Stadium. Shadows go across the ground now that the... But anyway, Northampton Town kicking left to right this off. Need to find something. Mines. Oh, and he's through. It could be a skull, it is. They've worked it lovely in that uh, left-hand side. They've caught Oxford cold on the defensive side and Lines, who's been getting into some good situations and good positions in that box has finally broke the deadlock for North, Northampton they've equalised on us you know I, I do think it's been coming a little bit you see they've played a good one two there and nobody's picked him up he's had all the time in the world to put it where he wanted into the net Oxford won Northampton won to Anderson the movement by Northampton at the moment is absolutely brilliant Northampton uh, looking the tightly side to score and oh what an important interception pulling it out for the corner kick there's Cadden ah it's got his dispossessed Adam there but and Mackey's through can he score he can Jamie Mackey restores the lead for Oxford United the pass was delayed and delayed to the right time and Mackey on the shoulder of the defender just kept himself onside and a super ball by Cadden he just waited and waited to Mackey to and then released him and he's gone through a goal but he's absolutely buried it into the corner of the net Oxford United take the move into one minute left of the game the referee says one minute all over by Moore and Taylor 
Ah, Ruffles, can he throw one in? He can! Oh, and the keeper's just dived at the feet. So, oh, there's the final whistle. How important is that result? Oxford United 2, Northampton 1. Very, very vital to win your, or get something out of your first game in a group, the group stage. But man, Oxford have managed to get the three points. Northampton, all to do in the, in the group now, but I'm sure they will qualify. Hello, welcome back to the EFL Trophy. This game between Portsmouth and Bolton in Group C is the first game of their group. So let's get to the kickoff. Hello, welcome to Fratton Park, the home of Portsmouth, for this EFL Trophy game against uh, Bolton Wanderers. Portsmouth Bolton. Two teams from Pasclo had past glories. Bolton, in fact, when they went into administration last year. But to rescue dealer save their mum. Thank God for that because where would not be without Bolton Wanderers? Well anyway, Portsmouth in the days of Harry Redknapp when he was manager, he had the likes of Canu here and oh he had all sorts of talents. But today they are languishing in leagues one and two. League League One, sorry. And this game is a different kettle of fish. It's the tournament. So first game of the league. Let's get to the kickoff. We see the teams block coming up. Let's look at the teams first. And there's the team for Portsmouth and um, Bolton Wanderers. Are playing a yeah, four, two, three, one. So could be interesting. Ha ha ha. So Portsmouth in this blazing sunshine. Pittman to get the kickoff. And away we go. Portsmouth blue and white. Um, Bolton in their white and blue shorts and there's Harrison already oh and Pittman nearly picked up the ball there and Arnis got players in the box he got it in oh the goalkeeper just played it with his feet oh that was so close for Portsmouth to taking the lead there's Harrison There's Cannon. Naylor. And Harrison going in. Can he cause it in? But Matthews. Easy for him to collect. Well, we go to nearly half time now. And there's the half time whistle. Nil nil. Nothing in the tip. Absolutely nothing in the game whatsoever. So welcome back for the second half between Portsmouth and Bolton. No goals in the first half. Absolutely dour game. Nothing to actually report. Can anybody get something to spark life into the match? But anyway. Two minutes of injury time. Referee said two minutes of injury time. And there's the final whistle, Portsmouth nil, Bolton nil. A really dour, dour game. Hello, welcome to the EFL Trophy. For today's matchup is between Barwell, Barwell Athletic against Walsall. Two Midland sides and they go head to head. So let's get to the kickoff. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Kirby Lane, the home of Bowell Athletic. It was today's EFL Trophy game against Walsall. Midlands rivals there, so uh, it's going to be an hard task, very hard task for Bowell, coming from the Bet Victor Northern League, to actually be playing in this EFL Trophy, an invitation that was given. So, uh, yes, they've, they've got all on Bowell to actually get anything out of this game, but uh, they are the fourth seeded group type team in the group so Walsall will be sort of trying to take advantage of that so let's get to the kick of the group of the players line up so Hollis for Bowell Athletic to get the game on the way he does and it's McAteer and Bowell in there all green well I like a yellowy green limey colour I think but uh, and Percival to get the ball over but 
that's been cut out by the Wolves or defender. And if I see him, but he didn't uh, succeed. Percival, Andy Bayer, just beating him. Ball out. Now Spring making the run on his left hand side. Good ball over. Oh, and Andy Bayer! 1 0 Walsall. That was so simple. They took the lead after only 10 minutes. Andy Bayer for Walsall. It looks so simple on the left hand side. No answer for Barwell. Ball over. Good headed back. And Andy Bayer has just started into the corner. 1 0 Walsall. Shot it only one minute to go in this half. Oh, and there's Gordon, but uh, with the rich to Old Kinsella. And it's going to go for a corner. Now, well, could be the last chance of the half for Walsall to double their lead. So, Facey with the corner kick, and it's out. And it's. And can, they, can they clear it? Yes, they can, and that'll be half time. There at Kirby Lane and it's Barrow nil, Walsall 1. Uh, welcome back to Kirby Lane for Barwell against uh, Walsall. Walsall leading 1 0 with the FL, the FL trophy. Ah, uh, Cottrell. And there's Wilton. Out to Orbit. Is it going to be cut out? Yes, it has. And the bear has been trouble, scores all sorts of noise. Oh, it is three on the left hand side. Can he put a cross in? But a good defending by Barwell. Forward. Oh, Williams now. Oh, and Alice, he scores. Barwell have equalised. Well, what a shot. He took that with so, with so much composure. Hollis has equalised, and Walsall. Well, they've been shot to the boots. As Kirby, Kirby Lane has absolutely erupted. Hollis, young Hollis is, yes, he's giving this crowd on. And uh, see Williams here, a super ball, little ball into, and a little dink over. And Hollis just took it lovely, and then just put it past the keeper. That's the equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Well, what a game we've got on now. What's, uh, what's Walsall's response to that? So, Barwell making a couple of substitution. Dunkley coming on for Hickey. Now, uh, Cottrell's been pulled out of position here. He's strong. Oh, but he's been buzzed off the ball. Good defending by Barwell. But it's going to come back. Good three. To Flavery. Sinclair, ball over Andy Bier, but headed again. Oh, but a shot, it's a goal. Well, the pressure's been coming on Walsall. I've taken the lead again, RD. And uh, jumps into the crowd and he's made it 2 1 to Walsall. It has been coming, but no disgrace for Barwell. They've held out to 86 minutes. What can Wilton do? Owens. And now uh, Morris. Got the ball in. Oh, it's a goal! Oh, he's equalised. Oh, and his second goal of the game. Within minutes of Walsall taking the lead. What a lovely glance in header. A super ball in by Morris. See Williams are playing Morris in down on the left hand side. A cracking ball in and Wallace has just glanced it into the corner. They must have just Well they have switched off Walsall. Good ball in. Wallace split at a 2-2. Two -two. That well 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 uh, that's just a shock. Leak got a minute left of this. And Percival, five minutes to where they got five minutes from. I don't know, McAteer. Ah, Dunkley, he's got a chance to come forward here. Oh, people are moving off. Can he shoot? He can't. Oh, it's just wide. But there's the final whistle. What a result for Barwell. 
2-2 against First Division Walsall. Hollis scores twice. Hardy thought he'd won it after 87 minutes, but Hollis on 89 had other ideas. It's a fantastic result for Barwell. Two goals each. Well, what a result for Barwell in their, in their group. I mean, to get a point against Walsall was uh, it's an absolutely tremendous achievement. Walsall were third, um, third, third seed in that group. They've got Fleetwood and Wimbledon also, but a fantastic result for Barwell. So, 2-2. Oh, that's, that's, can't, can't ask for any more. Thank you.